Hi, my name is Sarah Bryant with the Bible Journaling Ministries creative team. Today, we're learning how to use acrylic paint as we Bible journal in John 10, 11. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. Welcome, and today we are learning how to use acrylic paints to create a simple background as we Bible journal in John 10, 11. So my supplies for today are a printable, and the printable I am using is called Planner Kit John 10, 11, The Good Shepherd. And it's a really cute kit that you can get at the Bible Journaling Ministries shop online by going to BibleJournalingMinistries.com slash store. And these are just a few of the elements that I have chosen to use from the planner kit. And there are a lot of great images. I have a couple pages here that I have printed out that I have cut these images from. So you can see a lot of the one and a half inch by one and a half inch squares, which are great for planners. And then I have another page that has some other beautiful elements. And so obviously I have chosen a few of those today. And I have them laid out how I think I would like them to look on my page here. And John 10, 11 says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd sacrifices his life for the sheep. What a strong and amazing reminder of what Jesus has done for us. Just such a simple scripture that you can use to remind yourself of how amazing he really is. And so along with that, the other supplies I have today are an ink pad and my date stamp. I have a few different colors of acrylic paint here and my white. So I just have chosen a few that I had on hand that really coordinate well with the printable colors. I have just an old plastic card, a roll of washi tape, and my micron pen. And so I am going to go ahead and start creating my background here. I am putting this behind my page to protect my pages behind where I'm journaling. And this is just a piece of wax paper. You can use craft paper. You can use a, a bunch of different things. I have used regular paper lately. I have uh, like the illustrated Bible mat that you can use the clear one there are just so many different things let me show you that one this is the one that goes in the illustrating bible which is great and i use that one frequently too but you can use anything that you have on hand that will go nicely behind your page to keep the medium that you are using from going to your other pages so you just want to protect your other pages since in this case i'll be painting on this page so I'm going to go ahead and move my printable off of my page here. Try to keep it kind of in the same design, just a little bit. So I am going to use some of my acrylic paints here. And I have chosen two different red colors. This one is Apple Barrel Candy Apple, and it is kind of a bright red color, obviously. And this one is called Americana Acrylic Paint, and it is Rockwood Red, and it's a little darker. And so I thought I might use both reds, since throughout this printable there's some bright red, and then it has some dark red too. This is <laughs> Craft Smart uh, Grass Green pretty self-explanatory there so there's some green in there and then I have my apple my apple excuse me my apple barrel white acrylic paint so the first thing I am going to do is I'm actually going to mask off right along the edge of my margin here where my words start because I don't want any paint on this side of my page this time sometimes I do sometimes I just paint like the whole page, but this time I just want to keep it right along my margin. And that looks pretty good to me. 
You can measure it, and I actually think I may do that here in just a second to make sure that it is the same distance from the edge at the top and the bottom. Let's not tear my Bible page. And grab my grab my straight edge here. Okay, so it's pass two there. It is actually very close to being really straight, so that is good. Okay, now. Okay. I'm going to just press it down really well, because I want to make sure that it is nice and straight and flat. Okay, so I think I'm ready to apply my paint here, and I don't have a particular design in mind per se but that just really looks a little crooked to me I don't know why it just does okay let's go that direction a little bit just a tad okay it just looked a little crooked to me. But, again, a great way to remind myself that, you know what, it's not about it being perfect, it's about spending time in God's Word. So I want to get just a little nice background on here to put my printables down, and I don't want a ton of color. I don't want the entire thing colored. So I think what I'm going to do Ha, huh, this one is brand new, it's not even open. So I guess opening it would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Let's do that. Let's pop this paint open here. <laughs> okay. So Ooh, that is bright. That is bright, bright, bright red. Okay. I think what I will do is put a couple of drops on here of this bright red and see what I think. After I do something with that. So I am using just an old Card. It's an old plastic card. You can use a credit card. You can use lots of different things, lots of different ways that you can get your paint on here. You can use a brush. It just gives it a different effect. And so I want to go, I think, this direction with my paint. Oh, cool. So it's just going to do different things depending on what you do with your card here. Keep it all on my on this side here of my washi tape. And I do also have some baby wipes here that I am now going to use so I do not get my hands in that right here on my wax paper. That would not be so good for me, I don't think. I really want to keep that clear as much as possible. And I think I like what I have on my page, so I am just going to wipe with my baby mat, my baby mat, my goodness, my baby, my baby wipe off of my card there. And then I will go ahead with my next color here. I think since there's quite a bit of the dark red on here, I want to actually, let's see if I can just get a little bit of this dark red to incorporate into my brighter red that I have already got down here on my... Yeah, there we go. And I like how you can get some texture on your page by just uh, like doing it a different direction, adding pressure in a different way. That's really nice, I think. 
And so you can just really do a lot of different things. I think I have a little clump of paint right there, but that's okay. You can you just work with what you've got. Okay, so I, I'm going to wipe off my card here again, and then do a little more with this one. There we go. There. There we go. And then I think that'll be good on that one. Let me wipe my car off again here. Then, to get a little bit of this green color in, that'll be good because I, there's, a, there's some green in this. I don't want too much though. Maybe just a couple drops. And then, let's see what we've got here. Go off the page, I'll get that way. Oh yeah, nice. It just adds a little bit of that green color in. Nice. Nice. Again, I love just the different effects that you can get by just moving your card around in different directions. You can just do so much, really. Again, I didn't want a ton of green in here, but let's get a little more in the middle. And then what I wanted to do is to get some of this white paint in here. <laughs> because there is quite a bit of white in the printable, and that way I think I can get a little bit of this kind of more muted but yet, at the same time, keeping all the, the colors of the printable in. So let's get, let's get some white going on in here. Okay, let's see if I can get just little drops at a time here. Oop, that was a big drop. That's okay. Oh, that's a really big drop. That's okay. I'll work with it. Okay. So let's pull. Let's see, that's great. Oh yeah, and I love how it blended with the green right there too. Awesome, awesome. Okay, I kind of pull diagonally on that one. Oh yeah, nice. That's really cool looking to me. Okay, and so I love. Okay, this one is pretty wet here on my page. There, there we go. I'm sticking down. Which is okay, it's not going to hurt anything. There, okay. One nice thing about acrylic paint in your Bible is this is just a really, this is just a really cool kind of different design that is just really just really nice. Let's see how this is going to work. I think that's going to be okay still, even though there's a lot of color behind it. Since it is on white paper, I think you'll still be able to see it just fine. And of course that will be just fine because it's white. I think that's going to work just fine. Maybe. Uh, I think I think I'm going to call that done from the paint perspective. Although I don't have a crisp clean edge here, but I'm okay with that. I just wanted to make sure that if paint went this far on my page that it stopped right there. So I'm going to have, of course, right here and maybe here and up here a crisp edge, but I I just didn't want it to go onto my words of my Bible this time. So, let me clean off my card here, I think. I think, I think. That is, I really like how those colors worked out on my page here. And I think that's going to be good. So now I need to adhere my printable to my page. And for that, I am going back to my trusty Elmer's glue stick. This is a Craft Bond Extra Strength glue stick. It is a permanent bond once it dries. It's acid-free, photo-safe, and non-toxic. And I cannot tell you how much I love this glue stick. It is just inexpensive and such a great way to adhere things to your Bible, to anything that you're journaling with, really. And 
I got it quite a while back and I have just used it so, so much. So it, if you're looking for a really good inexpensive way to start your journaling, this is a great investment. It might have been three bucks, four bucks, I don't know. It was, it was very inexpensive. So I really like it. And acrylic paint, let me tell you this, is I think really nice to work with in your Bible. It's a quick, simple way to get a really cool background, even if you don't have a specific design in mind. And okay, so here's the back of my page. And you can see, oh, see, look, a little green did, did get through because it was really wet on my page over here. But guess what? It got on the back of this page only. It didn't get on this page over here, which is great, it's, which is the point of having your protective whatever you use. In this case, wax paper. Works just fine, actually works great. And so I love getting acrylics in my Bible. It does kind of, um, depending on how wet your acrylics are, uh, kind of um, scrunches up your pages just a little bit, but I don't mind that. And so you can see that it does have a little bit of what I would call shadowing here on your page, but number one, it's in my margin. And number two, if I wanted to, I could totally cover that up on this side when I go to journal on this side if I'm going to. And if it were, if I were going to cover words with it, then it wouldn't really matter because I could cover words on the other side too. So that's just, that's just up to you. You certainly could gesso your page to protect it with something like uh, a clear gesso like this. And that would work just fine too. Uh, that's kind of a personal preference. And another thing that I like about acrylics is that they dry pretty quickly. Like these are really, they're already dry. And I didn't use a heat tool or anything on those at all. I thought about it, but then I just decided, well, I know acrylics dry really, quick, really quickly anyway. And so I'm just going to carefully, very carefully. Bible pages are thin, so. You just have to use a little care here, especially when you're starting on the side of your page here. And then carefully pull off your washi tape that you use to protect your words or whatever it is. If you didn't mask off anything, that's perfectly fine. But in this particular case, I wanted to have a clear break in my design and my margin and in my uh, scriptures just because I actually I don't really study study in this Bible but I do read from it quite a bit and so I, I really enjoy that so I, I like to not cover the words in this particular Bible and I am really really liking how that paint turned out this time it's always so fun and interesting to do journaling when you really just want to get some pretty colors on the page and you don't necessarily have a specific design in mind, which in this case I did not. I just knew that I wanted to get some coordinating colors on my page here. I'm gonna make sure that this is pretty dry. It is, okay, cool. I'm going to get rid of my wax paper this time since it has paint. And now I am going to get my printable on here. So I'm going to use my scissors also to finish off my page here. Okay, so let's get my printables on here. I think I'll just start, ha, huh, look at that. I got paint on my hand, big surprise. Okay, I'm gonna start at the top and work my way down my page here. So let's just put the printable, oh, that looks so nice, I think. Printable on here the way that I would like it. So I can just really line that up with the paint, which works out nicely for me. Right there. And then I am the Good Shepherd right there. Or maybe down a little bit, I don't know. And get the cross in right there. 
and then Jesus holding Nice, really nice. I like that a lot. Again, I really have been trying to do a lot of simple and quick journaling, and I've still been extremely happy with how it turns out. I really like that. It's totally different than a lot of stuff I've been doing lately. And I like it a lot, so I'm going to just use my glue stick here and get a nice layer of glue on the back. And I printed this printable on, this is white cardstock. I like cardstock a lot. I don't really know why. I guess I just like the thickness and quality of it. I also do use clear sticker paper quite a lot. That needs to go up higher on the page. So I, I do use clear sticker paper quite a lot. I want it to hang over, but I don't want it to hang over quite that much. Okay, now I'm going to be fussy with my printable here. Okay, let's see where you are. That looks pretty good to me. Okay, now stick it down. Uh, so I also actually have been using white sticker paper quite a bit too, which gets rid of the need for this. So it's kind of just up to you as to how you want to adhere things and the look that you are wanting to create in your Bible or journaling, whatever you may be using. Uh, the clear sticker paper I actually love quite a bit, and it's really nice for when you want your design to blend in with your page, which is nice sometimes. There we go. And I do like it also when I am going to be putting something over my words and the image is going to be light so you can still read the words through the clear sticker paper. I actually like that quite a bit. So. Let's keep you right here and you right here. So I leave my printables kind of laid out on my pages. I'm adhering them so that as I work, I can see kind of where my other ones are positioned. And if I need to rearrange or whatever, then it makes it easier. That way, I am sure that. I am liking the positioning of what it is I'm working on, if that makes sense. Okay, and the cross there. Let's get Jesus holding the sheep. And this particular Bible, this is my hope and encouragement Bible. If you're not familiar with it, you should check it out. It is a really nice Bible. I have been journaling in it for quite a while now. I do really love my illustrating Bible a lot still, but this one gives me the ability to create fun pages quickly because it's a regular Bible size versus those big huge pages, which I do love, don't get me wrong. But this also this Bible also is just really nice and it has a lot of extra information in it to go along with uh, just the scriptures also. It's just it's just really nice. It's a nice nice Bible and it's beautiful also. Okay, let's get this pretty centered here if we can. Love it. Love it. Those colors look so nice with this. And if I scoop this up here, this guy needs a little more glue I think here on the bottom. Yeah, that corner didn't get enough glue glue for you. Okay. So, there's that one. If I scoop this up versus centering it, that actually gives me a little space to go back in and do a little journaling here if I would like. Although, it's not really something I tend to do on these particular pages. Although it leaves a little nice space down here, and if I push it up a little more, like that. But I 
could I could scoot it down and center it, but I think it looks it looks nice either way. But I think I like it up here a little better. So guess what? That's where it's going. The important thing about doing Bible journaling is that you're hiding God's word in your heart so that you are prepared when you need to pull it out to use it in your everyday life and that you're spending time with him. That's the important thing and that's the point of Bible journaling. If you're not doing that and your focus is all just on the journaling part, you're missing it. So like it. I like it a lot. Center it, kind of. Make sure it's kind of, sort of straight. And there is that. When I first saw this printable, I loved the color scheme, first of all. I'm very... Huh, I really... I, I like all the different colors for, for Christmas and that, and that time of year season, but I, I love traditional Christmas colors. I'm very much a red and green Christmas person. So I love that, and I, this square, for some reason, just really jumped out at me. I don't know why. Sometimes you just like something, you can't even describe why, necessarily. It was, I guess it's just because it's really simple and beautiful, and it just, I don't know, it just really jumped out at me as something that I really wanted to use. So, I am. Okay, there is that. Now I need to come over here and underline my scripture on this page. The page that the scripture verse is on didn't really have a bunch of journaling space. It just had this little bit down here on the bottom and I considered using it for this page but then I decided I wanted the whole margin to work in. So, 10.11 says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd sacrifices his life for the sheep. So I'm going to underline that with my micron pen over here. This is a red letter Bible. I actually like that a lot. I know everybody doesn't like it, but I happen to like it. So there's that part. Sometimes I add color to my scripture when I'm highlighting, uh, I highlight it. That just really didn't stick down right there. Weird. More glue on you right there. Okay. And sometimes I just leave it plain, just like that, and have it underlined. That's a personal preference, I think, too. And that really is my page. But the only thing left I have to do here is date stamp it, and that will be that. Okay. Let's see, where do I want this date stamp? Maybe just down here in the very corner. Lovely. That'll work for me. And there's that. That is my page, and I hope that if you haven't used acrylics, that maybe this has given you the courage to do so. I forgot to trim off. I really don't have too much extra on the back here, and I really don't want to smudge my date stamp. So let's do this direction here. There we go. Got it. <laughs> There wasn't too much of my printable hanging over my page because otherwise I wouldn't have neglected to see it. Okay, there's a little more on the top part. But seriously, if you have not taken that leap of using acrylics in your Bible, I really just suggest you do. If, uh, if you like painting, then just go for it. It's really fun and it just gives you a lot of flexibility in the things that you're working with and gives you something new to use in your journaling. And it looks really nice, I think. That was so much fun.
Love it. Okay. So again, if you use acrylics, if you grab this printable and do something similar, I would love to see it. And I just look forward to seeing what, what you create using this printable and acrylics in your Bible. And I hope this tutorial has encouraged you to dive deep into the Word of God today. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can be notified when we release new videos. Goodbye.